Cran Drive ever 1 million crans. That's the goal, and it's happening in Culver City next month. A way for teachers to get free crans to use in their classrooms. Sheila Moravati is planning this big event. Welcome. You've Thank been doing you. this for a while, huh? Yes, eight years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so the idea is that our teachers are spending so much of their own money just to be able to pay for supplies for the classroom. You were out to dinner at a restaurant, saw these crans that are used for kids being thrown away, and Bingo. Yeah, I just felt like there's something wrong with this picture. Mm -hmm. How is it that we're going to dinner, getting four free crayons each time, using them for a couple minutes, right. and then they get thrown in the trash? So I realized that they don't decompose, by the way. They're getting thrown in the you know, trash every single time at a rate of 150 million per year. Then teachers, just this past year, spent $900 of their personal earnings on classroom mm -hmm. supplies. And I just got fed up and I said, we have to do something. We have to make this right. And so this year we're doing the biggest crayon drive in history and we are going to donate over a million crayons to teachers right here in LA. And we're so thrilled to be able to do this. And the idea is that people come out and, and bring crayons that they're not using anymore. Right. You have children there who actually repack them and, yes. and do notes and write little yeah. inspirational messages. We have many fun things happening that day. We actually have secured the million crayons already and we're asking people to bring in more because there is no end to the need at LAUSD and Head Start centers across LA County. There is so many teachers who really do need these supplies so they're going to go fast. Um, the other the other thing we have is this little color kindness project happening mm -hmm. where the old crayons that kids bring in that kind of look like that, pretty good, mm -hmm. uh, will be donated and packed along with a, no a little note of kindness. And we ask kids to write these notes of kindness because we want them to feel a little more connected. So this is really cute. It says, I hope you felt happy and then a little heart or something. Sweet. And then we go to classrooms and we donate these to the classrooms. And ultimately the goal here is to teach children about recycling and giving back and to support teachers. The other thing we have going on is Nickelodeon will be there with some animators. And we also have our own art education program because as you may know, art education, there's no more room in the budgets for that. So mm -hmm. kids aren't getting that anymore. And we think it's really important for kids of all walks of life to have access to the arts. So and that's what we're a, a lot of people can't be there at Culver City. Maybe they don't have a way to get crayons to you, but they can still help. Help you have a, a GoFundMe. Yes, we have a GoFundMe page that we really, really hope people will support. It's uh, at GoFundMe.com. Just search crayon collection. Mm -hmm. Just ten dollars will get us enough crayons for a classroom all year long. That's how little it takes to really support a classroom. And part of that is because we have so many donors giving us their gently used crayons. And truly, it's just a simple way for the community to support the teachers and take this pressure off of them. $900 per year for a teacher's salary is a lot of money. It's a lot of money, period. Right. So just imagine how much pressure that is. Such a simple idea, but boy, it's making a big difference. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. All right, the One Million Cram Drive is August 11th. It's at the Westfield Culver City Center Court.